this video, we will be looking at bank transaction management in Verify, including matching transactions to documents as well as approvals. Let's take a look at the transactions list for this account. On the left, we can see the details of each transaction, while on the right is where we perform the document matching. For all transactions that have documents in the system, Verify will automatically pre-select the closest matching document for you. The color of this bar here indicates how confident the system is that this document is the appropriate match for this transaction. We can see that these two transactions are between 50 and 75% confidence because there are two documents that could potentially match each of these transactions. The green ones are a higher confidence. If you'd like to review the document before matching, click this button and you'll see the document details in place. If you're happy with the selection, simply click Match to match the transaction with the document. If you don't have a pre-selected document match, but you think you may have a document that corresponds to the transaction, you can search for it here. Make sure you have your date and other filters set correctly, and if you find your document, click Select. You'll now be able to match this document as well. Another option you have here is to generate a document for a transaction. This is useful if you know that the transaction was legitimate you don't have a receipt for it, but you'd still like to include it in your matched and or approved transactions. To add a generated receipt, click the Add button, fill out the form and click Submit. Just a quick note on the vendor here, you could either select an existing vendor, add a new vendor here, or simply let Verify create a new vendor for you based on the transaction details. The final option we have over here is to exclude transactions that aren't relevant. For example, you may choose to exclude transfers between your accounts. We also have the option of performing all of these actions in bulk. If any of your selected transactions have selected documents, this match option will allow you to bulk match all of those transactions. Transactions without a selected document will be ignored. You may have noticed the category on each transaction that doesn't have a matching document. This is used to apply the correct category to documents that are generated when bulk adding documents. You can change the category on an individual basis, or you can bulk categorize your transactions. Let's now jump across to the list of matched transactions. There are two main things we can do here. The first thing we can do is unmatch a document if a mistake has been made. Simply click the unmatch button and the transaction will be available again in the not matched transactions. We can also review the matched document by clicking this button. If you're an admin in Verify, you'll see this Approve button at the bottom. If all looks OK, you can go ahead and click that. You'll notice that the Unmatched button is no longer available, and in its place, you will have a check mark that indicates that the transaction has been approved. Approved documents and transactions are locked and cannot be edited. But if there's a mistake on the document, or if you need to unmatch the transaction, you can do that by first clicking Undo Approval over here. Finally, let's take a look at our excluded transactions. If you've made a mistake with excluding transactions that you would like to match instead, all you need to do is click the relevant Include button and that transaction will appear again in the list of not matched transactions. The aim with your bank feeds is to work through your transactions so that there are none left in the not matched status and have all the matched transactions reviewed and approved by an admin. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, reach out to us at support at